time for a quick Dr. Ben update uh, before we gotta get off to work. Um, uh, the first one is uh, not so much new as new to me. I, I should have been following a little closer. Uh, this is based on a paper from uh, 2011. Yeah. <laughs> But it actually turns out to be pretty important now. So what the paper was looking at is the two proteins that were known to let SARS coronavirus, original flavor SARS, into cells. And these are ACE2 and Tempris2. And they're the same ones that let SARS coronavirus 2 into cells, and so hence the uh, new relevance. Anyway, what this paper showed, and what I hadn't realized, because apparently... Uh, yeah. <laughs> Apparently, I need to read more, yeah. <laughs> um, is that these two proteins actually hang out together. And they don't just hang out together. They actually kind of stick together, such that if you go in with an antibody, which is just like a little grabby sort of handle uh, protein, um, the antibody will stick to ACE2, the receptor. And when you pull it out, you will also pull out Tempris2, the protease that activates it. And so for coronavirus, this is wonderfully convenient. And this is probably why this particular protease tends to be used. There are other proteases that can activate uh, the virus by cutting it that second time. Um, it, it opens up a thing called the fusion peptide, which is buried right in the middle of the protein. And it kind of needs to be at an end. And once you cut that, that's like taking the safety off or I don't know, pulling the pin on the grenade with the little handle still pushed in. It's ready, but it's not going to go off yet. But now it can, <laughs> essentially. And uh, yeah, so when coronavirus binds to ACE2, if it's on a cell that does happen to express both of these proteins, chances are they are both there, stuck to each other, already <laughs> just lined up and ready to go. Yeah. So uh, yeah. And that probably is part of what explains the, um, the way this is spreading so quickly. With other viruses, if I uh, remember correctly, uh, like even MERS virus, I'm going to have to go look this up now because I, I feel like I should know this better. But um, uh, I believe the, uh, the activating protease and the receptor are located on different parts of the cell. I, I think the one has to happen on the surface, then it has to go inside where the second will happen or at least they're not directly linked together uh, the way they are for SARS. But uh, yeah, so uh, that's a little tidbit that uh, I found very, very interesting and uh, really should have known for the last nine years, but uh, oh well, I guess there's, there's still time for us, right? <laughs> Thank you very much. There's your Dr. Ben update. Just a little fun fact you can drop into dinner conversation tonight. Uh, that was me dropping something into a, a glass of water or whatever. <laughs> Have a lovely day.